That is good. Bringing down a Murph of Wig Rubber. All right, the dog is barking. Come, if you want to chill somewhere, chill with me. Come in, come. I can't reach it. So far away. Now it's closer. You helped me out a little bit. Thank you very much. All right, next to combat, ending the turn. Sorry, my, my, there should be a button saying, sorry, my dog took my attention. Brothers and sisters, and welcome to Empty Gym Malone with me, Max Malone. Thank you also very freaking much for tuning in. I hope you're having a wonderful freaking day. If you're here from the live stream, thank you very freaking much. And if you aren't, well, there's a live stream every single day apart from Sundays and Mondays. So, yeah, make sure to tune in every single day when we're here. So, uh, yeah, today we're playing uh, one more alchemy deck, and tomorrow also because I was invited to the freaking uh, pre release and uh, the early access event. So sorry for all the people that don't like alchemy, but I was invited by Wizards of the Coast themselves. How can I say no to that? How can anybody say no to that? And uh, yeah, I made a little mistake. I uh, really wanted to, uh, you know, present a deck. And um, yeah, join up with the Yammering. Let's get into the explanation, Hammering. So here's the thing. <laughs> I, uh, I don't have the deck list. I don't have the deck list because I forgot to record the deck tech during the freaking, you know, live stream. So, and now I cannot access the early access event any freaking more. But we have the Tasha here, so let's talk about it real freaking quick. This is the deck list that I've been building around Tasha the Unholy Archmage. So let's get a little bit closer here. Uh, you can see she's a little bit different than uh, the original Witch Queen art. So uh, yeah, a card. So here we are. This is the Alchemy card. Um, it's a four cost for four. And uh, until your next turn, whenever creature attacks you or Tasha, it gets a minus one, minus one counter. That is a pretty, pretty darn brutal, man. I can tell you right away, that is like, keeps a lot of people from attacking ever. Because all these small creatures, if you're an aggro deck, you can just get out of here. You will never, never be able to ever attack again because the creature will just freaking die. So, there we have the minus two, which is even more brutal. Target opponent puts the creature card of their choice from the graveyard onto the battlefield under your control and that creature even gains war two. If there's only one creature, one big boy creature, well, that is all they're doing, you know? They give you, I don't know, a turn for Titan of Industry. Or whatever. Pretty, pretty darn good. And a minus six. Target opponent reveals card from top of their library until they reveal three creature cards. That means however many cards they reveal until they reveal three creatures. That's it. And uh, then you put those cards onto the battlefield, under your control, and the rest goes into their graveyard. So if they're playing almost no creatures, you mill them for so freaking much. And that is just freaking bananas. And getting to the minus six is not even half that hard. You know, it's easy as freaking a pie. So we can do it. I tell you right away, it is doable. And it is pretty freaking easy. So what did I do with the deck? Well, you will see the gameplay, but I will like enlighten you a little bit. I went the rogue way. Yes. As long as we still have the cards, I will be using them. So I went with the rogues and uh, I went with the mill so, uh, and the discard. So there's the Undercity Plunder that says whenever uh, your opponent discards a card and then they discard a second card unless they want you to get something out of their deck. So you conjure a card from them out of the deck, pretty easy. They have to discard something, they will discard maybe a creature, then you play the Tasha, bam, you steal it. Then we have cards like the Undercity Croissant. A connoisseur, I'm sorry. It's an Undercity Connoisseur. <laughs> Target opponents discards the, uh, the most expensive card they have. Now you can steal it with the Tasha if it is a creature. And that is pretty darn good, you know? Then we have cards like, as I said, the Rogues. You know, the 1-1 one, one Rogue that every time it deals damage, opponent mills a card. We have the Rogue that every time a Rogue attacks in, Target opponent mills two cards. We have the Rogue that has Life Gate and gets bigger. The more you have, like... Your opponent has cards type in a library and a graveyard. It attacks in with the other rogues out. You mill them a lot. And then, you know, we have the rogue that steals a permanent out of your opponent's graveyard when it deals combat damage 
to that player. So we're all about freaking stealing. We have the Siphon inside, of course, in the deck. That also steals. You know, all of these cards that I would like to show you right now, but I can't. Because I'm not that smart sometimes. So yeah, all we got is this. Ah, <sighs> yes, yes. No deck list from your boy Malone today. But hey, this is only the first version, so there will be another version coming up very, very soon. And up until then, this is all we got. The gameplay, me winning a lot, me having a lot of fun against a lot of cool content creators that I really, really love playing up against. So thank you all so very freaking much. I hope you will still enjoy this weird intro. Accidents happen. A system of a down said in one of their songs, and I forgot the title. So yeah, thank you all so very freaking much. This is Rogan Good. I'm Matt Malone, and I will see you all in no stealing games. So we are up against Lilith, the mother of all angels. Um, we're going first. I mean, it, it's a hand. You know, we can keep this hand, and I will keep this hand. Oh, we go for a blue here, because I do have two blacks, and uh, no blue though, and we can scry here. Oh, I missed a little dragon! Another land. Actually, I need this land. I really do. Also, if you see these six leaves, have you seen them? German freaking artist. Yes, sir. There's nothing to be proud about it, but hey, it's still cool, you know? You give him a friendly uh, waver of the hand. Hello! Okay. Murphy, wind robber, you're up. You're up. So they're going like the, the gift. The good thing is that we can destroy these planeswalkers with the gift of luxuries. You know that is that is pretty good. Mono black planeswalkers. They're playing the lands though. They're doing it. All right, let's attack in here first, and then slam in with the city soccer uh, with the Nighthawk scavenger. Question mark. Mill that card. Mill it. It's a land. They're also playing Demir. We're like, the matchmaker is still so weird. No matter what you do, you're still going even unranked. You're going into mirror matches. All right, power kill. I don't have like a... I need something to blow my nose real quick. So professional. So professional. And I think that the Ignis ban was totally, totally called for. Three colors? I only have seen two up until now. I've only seen two. Okay, game. Stop it, please. Please stop. Oh my, okay. So let us see what we will get rid of them here. No, Johnny Renicus the Exile. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, we still got rid of a card here. And this will, like, you know, very soon draw me some cards. The Tasha. Come on now, really. Really. Perfect. Really. I've got some experimental. This would just die, you know. <laughs> this would just freaking die, man. Oh no! Are you seriously kidding me here? Are you? Don't you do it, man! Don't you freaking do it, man! I've made some improvements over your version. We're bringing down this one. This is pretty darn good. Okay, I will take this now. Okay, you here and do the same. Just do the freaking same. Stealing your thanks, man. I'm stealing your thanks. All right, your thanks are mine now. Freaking mine now. So we have 49 cards, so we will draw here. That is pretty good. And Amido Masker is okay. I like it. I have to say, I like it. How many cards do they have in their library? Three and a graveyard. Three. I'm doing well, Rosemary. Thank you very freaking much. Appreciate you asking. So, uh, yeah. I think that we can just get rid of the Infernal Grasp here because these are three costs. So that is alright. Maybe they're also activating this, you know. The plus one. We will see. Yeah, man, this event is just so people talk about me, you know. <laughs> Give it your best shot, adventurers. It is just that. Nothing else. Oh my, what? <laughs> Don't even have like what the hell, man? What the freaking hell, man? Why? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? I don't appreciate it at all. Do not appreciate it at all. 
Are you making yourself a pest? You're not. You are not. Okay. We are paying the ward cost here. Yes, 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 yes. I have to. I kinda have to. Should have played a land before. We could still have this, you know. Could still have it. Alright. Do they have anything in here? They do not have anything in there. Alright. Don't come any closer. This sadly is not a rogue. But we're still attacking in here, you know, still is slamming down this little uh, Tasha. And we will also draw ourselves a card. Okay, we have to, you know, we have to. Oh yes, they could do this. They could do this. But do they really want to? They have another Luxure, okay. Alright. That is fine by me. He absolutely fine by me. I still get your value out of your Johnny Ranicus. So stealing here works very freaking well. Very, very freaking well. So, there's no creatures in here right now. You can still do this, you know, and pump her up real good. Real freaking good. And, uh, whenever one or more rogues. So, they're on four here right now. So, we will see how this turns out, man. We will see how this turns out. But right now, we're okay. We're not perfectly fine, but we're okay. What you doing here, my friend? What are you doing here, my friend? can still attack in with this, you know, and mill them another two. It seems about right. I like doing that. Okay, excellent. City Stalker Croissant? How dare you? How dare you? Exile my freaking City Stalker Croissant, man. Okay. I still have the meat hook, you know? And the meat hook is pretty tasty here. Pretty darn freaking tasty here. Well, it's not anymore. <laughs> if they equip this, it is not tasty anymore, you know? Not at all. But hey, we're, we're still kind of alright here. Kind of. Let's see how this turns out. Another soaring thought thief. Okay. Give it your best shot, adventurers. Another sorry thought with this nice though. Because now this Tasha will be freaking Gonzo. Because we're milling them enough, you know? And uh, it will destroy everything. So no matter what they do, this will be freaking enough. I think that they will be blocking this. But it will be pretty unsmirched to block this, to be honest. Because then I can just, you know, steal it once more. Okay, they really want to do it. You really want to do it. Okay, hey, that's up to them, you know. I would not tell them how to play the game. But I would have not yeah. done it. You know, dueling Then I would have fun. not done it, you know. Okay, let's draw here. And then uh, we will be doing this for two. Good. I like it. I like it. So... Yeah, we're kind of still in YouTube mode. Uh, and I'm just trying to, you know, deplete my opponent's uh, things that they can do. And the other city plunder here is just amazingly good. Just amazingly good. All right. So, our Tasha Unholy Alliance with the Soaring Thought Thieves is working pretty darn well. They will be getting rid of their own creature here. I totally understand that. I would do the same. Hello, Dogo. And hello, uh, Mrs. Malone. <laughs> Who's the witch? That is Tasha. People will always be calling you Miss Malone. <laughs> Are you feeling better? That is good. I like to hear that. The witch is Tasha, the unholy archmage. And a day they changed her though. Like her real name is different if you open the packs. I cannot tell you what the name is, but it's different. Another pestilent cauldron. Okay. Alright. There will still be eight cards in here, you know, and I will still steal something with the other city plunder. Pretty happy about that. Okay. So the discarding here. Let us see, maybe they have a creature that we can freaking steal. That would be Q. That would be pretty darn Q. Yes, they can make themselves a little token here, but I really don't care about that. Hey, 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 the doggo is good. The doggo is pretty darn good. 
Like, he had some problems with his stomach. That was the thing. Like, he had, like, you know, gas or whatever. I, I don't really know, but he's better now. He's way better now. Okay. What you doing, my friend? This card... Okay. All right. Um... Doing this now. Because there's literally no reason not to. Don't try anything we're still attacking in. Now. Like if they, you know, do this here now, this little thing would just die. Our Tasha would still be alive because we also have the Nidox Scavenger and everything. So it's alright. It is pretty much... I wonder what the freaking luxurious gifts are for. I really freaking wonder. Okay. Okay. We're playing this because in the worst case we can still draw a card, you know, it will also activate the Beetle Massacre. And I think that we just freaking get him here next turn. I think we just freaking get him here. Oh, looks tasty. Looks freaking tasty. So they cannot discard a card, they cannot do anything, they're just holding priority for no apparent reason. But we're getting in there for a lot of freaking damage with rogues. With rogues, man. Oh, terrible, terrible. I feel bad and I should feel bad, man. Freaking milling them with rogues. And then, like, the milling is not even like our main win con, you know? It's just kind of like a side project. All right, Lilith. Give a friend the waver of the hand. Hello! Hello! Like the Pestle and Cauldron, I am the master of the Pestle and freaking Cauldron. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Do your worst. Do your dernest. Still thinking about what they can do here, but they can do nothing. I tell you right away, there's nothing, nothing I tell you, they can't freaking do here. Just freaking nothing. When they try, well, they will lose their little critter here. Okay, go ahead, my friend. You're touching all of my stuff. I like that. That means that you're thinking about your life choices. That is always very important, eh? But can you really do anything? I mean, even if you draw four cards here, can only do it once, you know, with the Pestle and Cauldron. Maybe they have something to bring back a creature. Nope, they're just exiling the cards. Okay. Good. Good. So, what did we exile them here? Two Tashes. Exanitar. That is cheeky, man. That is cheeky. <laughs> as soon as the Batmans tell you that they're working on side projects at the beginning of the end, well, I like my drummer, you know, he's playing in like five bands or something. But he plays like a many different instruments, like a lot of them. Go ahead, attack in. We get a minus one, minus one counter. This will die. Maybe you have another Grim Wanderer. Who knows? Who freaking knows? Like that is the only thing they could do here, you know? Get a freaking Grim Wanderer. All right. We don't have lethal though. We don't have lethal though. Think about that for a second. Do they have anything in here? They do not have anything in there. Maybe afterwards. Maybe afterwards they will have something in there. But what will it be? They can still use the Rotten Reunion. You know. They can still do some things. I will see what those things are. The Rotten Reunion in right here, right now? Why though? Freaking why though? What are you afraid of? Like... Should I do with your luxury? You know, <laughs> there's nothing I can do with your luxury. Like seriously, nothing. All right. So will we steal their shamdy boy? One bajillion freaking percent. Wow, sound. You're so good. Oh, we win. We win, man. We win. We just sacrifice this and win. You know, that is just lethal. We do have lethal, and we even draw cards for our trouble. No, we don't. Good game. Good game. Ah, oh, they scoop. You could have just taken the damage like a man! No matter if you're a woman, tree fork, snake person or whatever. Just take the damage, man. Get out of here, Lilith! Alright! So sometimes it takes like two seconds to find an opponent. Sometimes it takes like five minutes. Oh no, come on, really. <laughs> Not the slowest player in the known universe, man. Please don't. Please don't. Up something's happening! Yo, Mojo! Thank you very, very much for crashing my stream. I really appreciate it. Really do. Uh, let's give a friend hello and waver of the hand. So we know that... Um, get some rest, my friend. Get some rest. 
Uh, today's video, like yesterday's video, uh, for people watching right now on YouTube, will be uh, the video that we did on, uh, you know, the stream. So yeah, we'll be pretty darn good. Oh my lord, MMO, why are you so slow? You don't only need to play a land, man. You only... Come on, come on, really. <laughs> what the heck, man? Hello. <laughs> Just play your land, you know? Just play your land. No, it's not mono black. It is uh, going to be a uh, freaking dragon. Yes. And the dragon deck is insanely berserker, man. Just berserker. So let us see what we can steal here. If we even steal something. If we even freaking steal something. Yo, I6, thank you very freaking much for the follow on Twitch. I really appreciate it. So, Mojo, I hope your stream was amazing. Thanks for setting everybody over. I really appreciate it. Are they playing something different this time? Or maybe they don't. We will find out. Oh my. Okay. Seems cool. <laughs> this art is amazing, man. This art is simply freaking amazing. So we go with the Nidox scavenger here. Just stealing some deeps, you know? The Bobby Blazer! Thank you very freaking much for the follow on the Twitch, I really appreciate it. Yes, dragons indeed! Oh yeah, Gengar! Not a lot of people know this, but I have this Gengar animation. Okay, well I mean it. <laughs> Is there a creature in here? There ain't. Okay. Still playing the Tasha, you know. Just putting down the counter. It seems about right. And if we draw land here, we can invoke the spare next turn. Which is pretty darn good. I also love that rift so much. I, I searched so long, man, until I found something that was cool. I wish it was me playing. But it's not. It is not. It's totally chair. <laughs> The chair riff of the century. Okay. Opponent's not doing anything. Wish I had one more blue source here, to be honest. But I really needed to back source for the to spare. Yo, Cloy Agaluz, thank you very freaking much for the follow on the YouTubes. Ag Gengar is like the best Pokemon ever. Dude, what are you barking at? What you barking at, my friend? Don't try anything cheeky now. I will be playing the Painful Bond. That is good. Ring down a Murph of Wing Robber. Alright, the dog is barking. If you want to chill somewhere, chill with me. Come in, come. I can't reach it. It's so far away. Now it's closer. You helped me out a little bit. Thank you very much. Alright, next to combat. Ending the turn. Sorry, my, my... There should be a button saying, Sorry, my dog took my attention. <laughs> Alright, so what do we do here? Town raise a tyrant. That will die, my friend. That will simply die. Cast attacks. My turn. Nope, I will be playing this one first. And uh, do I steal that town raise a tyrant? I don't think so. I would just be doing this now. Milling them some. City stock of croissant. Very nice. I want my Tasha to survive. I really do. That is why I'm doing it like this. I don't think they have any hasty creatures here. Alright, sadly this will activate only next turn. Oh my lord. Uh, yeah, we can take the damage. They still had it in here, man. They are really like... Okay, that is bananas. Freaking bananas. Are you shooting my Tasha now? MMO, are you doing it? Are you doing it? The Gengar V has a strong attack, man. A Gengar should be like the strongest Pokemon ever. It's a freaking dragon, you know. Uh, freaking, uh, oh my, okay. Oh, it's you. a freaking ghost. Oh, brave. They will lose this. I'm pretty darn certain that they will just lose this now. All right, we're doing this. Hey, the hey. Sock Poisson. Here we go. They will lose their ancient magic. copper dragon. I like it, I really do. And, uh... Let's slam in first. Oops. Me. <laughs> Me. <laughs> All right. There's a lot of dragons in there. A lot of freaking dragons in there. And we will see what they're doing here. A resolve. Uh, take two damage. 
because I can. It's not the ghost of a cliff fable. It is not because you know it's an evolution. It's a freaking evolution. So yeah, it's the evolution of. Don't try anything. Okay, cheesy, they have to no. block the Nighthawk scavenger. Otherwise, they will be freaking dead here. We will see what they're doing. It's the evolution of the other two Pokemon. So, how could it be the ghost of a cliff fable? It's all I'm saying. It's all I'm saying. All right. Still milling a card here. It was a land. What can we find on top here? Uh, a land? No, thank you. Playing another Murphrog Wind Robber here. Ending the turn. And just because you know we can, we will take another two damage. Assert some dominance. Assert some gritty dominance. <laughs> this this dragon is just so disgusting. Such a disgusting dragon. Get out of here, MMO. Get out of here. All right, I'm uh, back right in time. We're up against Hammocks 42. So, do I like this hand? I do like this hand. Because we go in first. So, I bought myself this most amazingly freaking playmat at Command Test Frank. Check it out, man. Look at it. Look at it and weep. This is just so good. We're up against another dragon stack. I can tell you that much. Nobody plays the world tree otherwise. I told you. I told you it is dragons, man. Aspion is the best. Aspion is the ghost of any Pokemon who died in a... You think so? That makes makes sense. Makes sense. A little bit. At least a little bit, you know. Yeah, this playmat, like, the artist was there on the command fest. Did the art for these ones. You could also buy tokens. You know, spirit tokens or ghost tokens or whatever. And uh, it was pretty darn tasty, I have to say. We go with the black market here, or are we going aggro? We go in freaking aggro. Okay. Because we can still find the land here, you know. And play the City Soccer Croissant afterwards. Oh yeah, this is like my favorite playmat right now, I have to say. I also got one from the boys of... Uh, oh my, okay. That is... It's alright, you know. I'd rather lose this than my soaring thought if or whatever. They did sign it. Look at here. Here's the signing. All right, I, I'm wasting enough of my opponent's time and everybody watching on YouTube. But hey, you know, maybe people want to know. Uh, create a treasure token. You made, uh, okay. Interesting. You doing something with your treasure token? There was no need to do this right away. <laughs> I want to get past tokens that are pictures of John Leguizamo. Who even is that? I have to check that later. I'm so bad with names and everything. I never know what is what, is what you know? I never freaking know. But what did we get rid of? Lands? Terrible. Freaking terrible. Let's try to steal some more land here. Perfect. We're taking this one. It is this blue. It's just very good to have. And now we're chilling. Now next turn we just make them discard their biggest threat. And then we're kind of okay. I can use the painful bond here. Maybe they're doubling their power? They do! They do not, okay. Uh, it would have been weird if they did. Would have been very, very weird if they did. My turn, let's draw some cards here. Oh my. Oh my lord. <gasps> Is there even a question here? Is there oh even a freaking question here? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my lord, Not. like the clown in spawn was so good, man. So good. So nasty. So freaking nasty. I loved it. The fern grass was pretty darn good here. We're milling them some more. Oh no, all of these dragons. I will be stealing them. One day. Stop, oh, what are you doing? What, what, what are you doing? Come over here. Come over here. Are oh, you almost tripped? <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry. Past. Alrighty. City stalker connoisseur, get down here. Dog, what are you doing? What, uh, what is it that you're doing, dog? And uh, now we're doing this. They you really had another one. You just had another one. Okay. Well, we are attacking in because this will become big and strong. And we still have, like, you know, the infernal grass to take care of whatever here. I'm very happy about it. 
Restoring Thunder makeup line. I don't understand. <laughs> the Thor and Thunder makeup line. Really? <laughs> sounds great, though. I have to say, it sounds great. <laughs> They're not doing anything. I like that. I really do. Uh, we're not doing anything either. The Zarid Sun. Oh, my sweet baby Jesus. Yes. Yes. Okay. So we are attacking in here. I will be using the Zarid Sun. Next to blockers. No blocks achieved. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is just a dirty dog. You're so good. All right. So what are we even stealing here? I don't even know, man. I don't even freaking know. Oh, we win! We win! <laughs> we just win, man. I didn't even realize. Take that, dragons! You already annoy me so much. It's just like the freaking Streets of New Capanna pre release where everybody was playing the freaking Obnixilis deck. Amazing. Get out of here. All right, Eggcock. Opponent's going first. I mean, it's an okay hand. There's no reason not to keep it. Oh, don't bump your heads, little dragons. Don't bump your heads. The empty, favorite MTG artist. I have to check them out. Like, are they doing like, you know, also MTG art? It's not a dragon stack. It's not a dragon stack. I can tell you right away. It's not a dragon stack. Um, tomorrow, Darp6, tomorrow you will be able to play this deck. Well, if you see this video online, you have the same question. It will be out already. Don't you worry about that, sweet summer child. It will be out already. The moment you see this video. But we always have an Undercity Plunder in our hand. That is so bananas to me. It's only tomorrow. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> no! And I thought it was today. It's the 7th, actually. Oh, they're not dragons! Dar Akok. I really, really appreciate it. Well, it might still be dragons. If they have like a dragon's fight here, they might still be dragons. Four colored dragons is what they are. Um, let's go with the Nidox Scavenger. They don't have anything. I like it. For four mana, they don't have too much to do, you know? Here's some wealth. What do they have in here? The cemetery Prowler. I don't really care about that too much. Let's get uh, rid of the Whelk here, though. I care about that a little bit. I can steal it with the Zarek Sun, you know? Eh, that is pretty good. That is pretty good. Alright, they have four mana here. Another Fearsome Whelk. Okay, game. Nothing to see here. Nothing wrong, you know? Oh, just a good old two Fearsome Whelks in a row. Alrighty. Alrighty. City Stalker Croissant. Get down here. Let us see what they discard. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. I like them discarding that. Alright, that was pretty darn tasty. Pretty darn tasty. Okay, so next turn we will steal it. We will freaking steal it. And then we will start stealing even more stuff. It's going to be glorious. It is glorious. Yeah, the moment I saw the freaking dragon's fire, I knew, I knew they were dragons. I freaking knew it all the way. All the way long. We're going to invoke this here. What does this do? Not much. Not freaking much. Alright, taking one here is alright. I don't mind too much. Am I getting rid of this land here? I am actually. I have enough mana for everything. I might as well get rid of the land. Another invoke this pair. Well, first things first, let's attack in. This actually is no rogue. But we will see what to do in here. They're doing nothing, I will just, you know, slam in the Zarid Sun. They're doing freaking nothing. They're doing nothing. Oh, my sweet lord. This is so good. Steal it. Oh, you liked your dragon, didn't you? Well, it's my dragon now. It is my freaking dragon now. Do you have two of those in hand? If you don't have two of those in hand, well, then you're going to have a tough time, is what I'm saying. All right. So we just need to steal some more things, and we're happy. But right now, this eh, they scoop. Oh, you didn't like playing against dragons, now, did you? But you have been playing against dragons all day long, all day long, my friends, all day long. Get out of here! It's MRR Kirin. Isn't Kirin like a creature type also? 
I have not been playing during that set, but I'm pretty darn certain that it is. This is the thing, my friends. The city stock of croissant with Tasha. Very, very darn tasty. Very darn tasty. You liking this deck already? I mean, hey, how couldn't you? How couldn't you? Yes, this card. Oh, something's happening. Yo, Polar Chemist. Thank you very freaking much for the follow on Twitch. I really appreciate it. You go with the Black Source here. Uh, Scry. Yes, give me more. Give me more. This is also dragons. Just to wait. This is also freaking dragons. There's no way this isn't. Yeah, I totally freaking told you. And you need to leave right away. No ramp for you, my friend. No ramp for you. Just insanity, man. How ma Like, come on. Nada is a Kirin. Oh. That is like something else, right? Kiran, Kirin. At least I think so. So the Nidox Scavenger is just so good against all these dragon decks. Terrible, my man. Terrible. Just doing all of this shabwang here. All of it. Yeah, all of it. All right. It's sushi. The freaking Atsushi. Well, get... Get wrecked, my friend. Get wrecked. I will discard all you own, man. Everything. All the ancient copper dragon? Don't mind me if I do. Don't mind me if I steal that as well. The Moonveil Regent. That will have to die. That will absolutely have to freaking die. First things first we're doing this, though. Let us see what they're discarding here. If they really want to give me a card here. Tasha needs to wait for a little bit. Like, have you ever not gotten a land with this? Have you ever, in your entire freaking life, have gotten a, anything else but a land with this? Ever. Freaking ever, man. Never. Never in my entire freaking life have I gotten anything else but a land. That is just amazing. Just freaking amazing. Okay. So we're slamming in there. Checked in because I'm, I want to see some more early access and you're really bloody funny. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate it all. We're really at this still. Okay, well, I mean, what you gonna do about it? <laughs> what you gonna do about it? Let's get rid of this rockfall veil, you know. We don't really need it. We don't want it at all. It's another land. Okay. I need your name and birthday. So I know what to put on your gravestone. Beware. <laughs> I know some secret magic. <laughs> that line of text was amazing, man. Yeah, like you know, as soon as they get this one out, they just win. And it's just what it is. It is just what it freaking is. If they found another dragon here, you know, I would be a little bit disappointed. Okay. That is alright with me. I'm not blocking that. <laughs> you know I'm a brilliant witch. Okay. Right? Yeah. Now that is, like, the least one that I'm worried about, you know? The least freaking one I'm worried about. There's so many more dragons I would be worried about here. So many more. Alright, we're bringing down another Night Horse Scavenger. These Scavengers. And uh, then we're attacking in. We still need to get them down, you know? And the more life we have, the freaking better. Just take it. Just freaking taking it. Alright, please. Please. Just don't give him a dragon here. Give him a land. Like I had so many lands. Like I stole a land from them. Just give him a land and we're good. And we're good, you know? Nothing to worry about. Okay, that is all right. That is all freaking right. Pass to attacks. No attacks. Oh, my friend. Are you ready now? I'm not attacking him. The Siphon Insight. Let's steal something. I like that. I like stealing. It makes my heart go fast. The Town Raiser Tyrant. Actually, yes, I want that. And, uh, yeah. Let's bring it down here, my friends. Let's bring it freaking down like a cloud, Charlie Brown. We're making this one because, you know, this one also works very well here. And, uh... Let's just slam in there. Let's make a mill some more here. 
I mean, there's still a lot of damage coming their way, you know? Alright, they will exile now the top three cards of the library, which is a little bit annoying. Only the top two! Only the top two! But I got this one. That is super bad for us. Super freaking bad. But we're still doing things, you know? We're still freaking doing things. Yeah, I'm back! Back on top, man! Back on top! Alright, they will be getting this one. Oh, okay, of course, yeah, no no worries here, no worries here. You know, we didn't get one of these, we didn't get one of these. No, 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 not at all. Either. Come on, rain, freaking rain now. Drag deck, my friends, the freaking drag deck, just in its whole freaking glory. And there is nothing you can do, nothing, freaking nothing. Uh... They have this one, which I really don't care about. But at least we're getting it, you know. At least we're doing something oh, to get it. I'll be taking it. It would give me like the least important one. But then afterwards we can start doing some things. And I like doing things. Oh my! Did I say I could do nothing? <laughs> Did I really say I could do nothing here? Alrighty, alrighty. We are attacking them with everything. All we need to do is to get some damage down. You know, just some damage through will be already pretty darn good. Okay. Alright. Okay, alright. Oh, really now? Oh, really now? Okay, alright. That might have been like a mistake here, my friend. Because now you will lose this, Miriam. You will freaking lose it. Oh, two lands. The town raise a tyrant, super annoying as freaking heck. But hey. But hey. So. They would get like three creatures out of this, but you know there's not too much we can do here. Just some, but not too much. These stupid dragon egg man. Already like being like super freaking annoying. Like super freaking annoying, man. I mean, come on. Man. <laughs> Just insanity. Just freaking insanity, man. Just freaking in freaking sanity. Don't use well now even. Yeah, why not, you know? Why the heck not? Okay. I ought to turn you into a That is pretty darn good, I like it. We'll see what they're doing here. Just see what we're doing. And we're drawing at least one card and we get rid of one of these suckers which are just so freaking annoying. Just so freaking annoying. Alright, and we're passing the turn here. There's not too much we can do. Uh, take two damage. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter to me. Nothing really matters. So we can block the Cemetery Prowler, which is already pretty darn good. PS2 attacks. You yeah, go ahead. Attack me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, did you really now? Did you really now? Not attack in with this one. Oh my lord. Well, I mean, eh? Not going to tell him how to play the game, no. Watch him have a dragon's fire here. Watch him have a freaking dragon's fire here. The cemetery prowler. Putting in so much work. Uh, the hourglass coming. Yeah, the one James did a very, very beautiful deck with that. Hope that he will, like, be showing it off, you know? He will be pretty good. All right, a land, a freaking land. A freaking land. Still doing this now. You know, there's literally no reason not to. Literally none so ever. And I mean, we're pretty close to winning here, you know? Pretty darn freaking close to winning here. I mean, yes, they have the scaled nurturer. But uh, hey, there's not too much I can do about it. Uh, take to death. <laughs> we just because we can, you know, because we freaking can. We're doing it. So what you got here, my friend? What you got here? I hope you got something good. Cause otherwise, you know, it ain't gonna be too good. All right. Okay. I'm going to dash here. Okay. Still doing this, you know. I like that. I really do. All we need is to draw something other than a land here. There's so many things that will help us right now. Curses so many you. things. 
So many. Alright, the favor of the mirror break is pretty darn good for them. That is also pretty darn good for us, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. All right. All freaking right. I like it. I really do. Don't Are we chilling here? Any closer. Uh, we can sacrifice him now. So if they want to attack in here, that's fine by me, you know? We're just freaking fine by me. And we will see what that happens here. They will find another creature with this. I'm pretty darn certain. Oh, my lord. Come on. Come freaking on, game. Well, it is what it is. What am I supposed to do about it? All I need is some more creatures, you know? And then with the Meat of Massacre, we will be good. Because they should have used this to get some life, but they haven't. They just missed a huge opportunity here. The hugest opportunity here. And sooner or later, we will just mill them. You know, we will just freaking mill them. All right. Let's steal a creature here. There's so many creatures we can get that would help us. And uh, if they attack in, we will just block and win the game. Easy as freaking pie. Easy <laughs> as freaking pie. All right. And here we go now. There's also an argument to be made to just, you know, attack in here. <laughs> because if they block, you know, they will lose two life. And uh, you can only block with the fearsome whelp. That would be like helping them, you know. But for the rest, hey, we got him here. We freaking got him here. With the uh, Mirok Masker action, and that is always pretty darn good. I like it, I really do. But a block and a fearsome whelp here. I mean, we're so close to winning. So freaking close to winning here. Alright, we don't get anything. Losing the two life here. We're drawing a card. Because why the freaking heck not? We have so much life. I don't think that they can destroy us here. The siphon inside is just so good. So tasty. I love it. I freaking love it. And yes, they can get rid of one of them. But then what? Then what? Nothing, I tell you. Freaking nothing. We cannot play it. We're missing a blue source. Okay. That that would ever happen is crazy to me. Alright, so they can only attack in with these. They attack in with anything else. It's not going to be great for them. And let us see if they really found another freaking dragon here. And even if they did, we will get them next turn. Yo, bonjour to you as well, Black Emperor. Glad to have you. Oh, now you're using it. Now you're freaking using it. All right. Okay. That is okay to me. Once more, all we need to do is to block with one single creature. And I'm so certain that they found a freaking dragon here. So certain. Like, come on. Let's be honest. Let's be freaking honest. As if they did, you know? As if they freaking... Yeah, they scooped! They didn't! They didn't! Oh, dragons... Oh, dragons, the boon of my existence already. Get out of here, dragons. Alrighty, we had a lot of fun. I was still wearing the Juventus shirt, so uh, if you want to comment about it, go ahead. I don't mind, you can do so. It's uh, it's all part of my uh, persona, you know? Making you comment down. <laughs> I love how that shirt incurs the wrath of so many freaking people that is just amazing and i love it so just go ahead comment about it also i hope you enjoyed the deck uh there as i said is no deck list for it today i'm very sorry about it and yeah if you want to play it you have to wait until the evening anyways maybe the moment you see the video it will be already good you know it might be already the point where you can play those cards already and you want to play them but there's just no deck list ain't that a beauty so i'm very very sorry about that just you know accidents happen as i said but hey you know what i'm not sorry about saying thank you to all of these beautiful people on this beautiful list oh ho, ho, we're already to nico bolus god pharaohs i've been babbling around so very much so yeah thank you also very freaking much for supporting the channel with your hard and cash if you're on this list thank you so very freaking much and if you want to be on this list well, you can check out the Patreon and the membership below every single video. Just push that button. Check out if that's something for you. If you want to help your boy Malone out, I would appreciate it very freaking much. But hey, always other ways to support the channel like subscribing. It is free. It doesn't cost you anything. And you can go a long way to support the channel. Leaving a like, sharing the video with a friend. Who knows? All of these beautiful, beautiful youtube -y freaking things. But hey, one more thing. One more thing. When you wake up in the morning, 
and you see that beautiful, beautiful face of yours in the mirror, you brush your hair and you say to yourself, hey, that is me in that mirror. Just remember that all of you are pretty freaking sweet. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you all tomorrow.